you guys welcome back today I'm really excited about today's video I'm still a little nasally so excuse that but I feel a thousand times better oh finally it's been a month and I'm, I'm over it but today I'm really excited um, I was recently contacted by shop miss a this is a website that sells a ton of makeup and other various beauty accoutrements for like a dollar a piece. Some of the products are a little bit more expensive, but they are all super affordable. And I've heard a lot of good things about this, especially their um, beauty blender, like dupe, right? I've heard amazing things about it. It's I think like a dollar or a dollar 88 for the dupe. And I've always wanted to try it. So they contacted me. They asked if I'd be interested in trying out some of their products. So today we are going to be doing a full face full of first impressions from Shop Miss A. I'm so excited, you guys. So thank you very much to Shop Miss A for letting me pick out some products to try out today. I have literally like a little bit of everything in here and we are going to have some fun with this. Um, everything that I use today will be linked down below in the description box in case you are interested. And I have ring lights on me to try to just brighten up my face area a little bit because I feel like that helps you guys see a little bit better what I'm doing. Um, so we're going to jump into this so I can take my glasses off because I feel like that would be easier. But really quick before I do, I did get a couple of tool sets because I wanted to really like try out the brand, right? And really form a good opinion. So I ended up getting, instead of just the regular beauty blender, I got the AOA Studio Blender Vault. This is seven freaking pieces. It has the OG, the Moki, the Super Soft, the Microfiber, the Silly Dip, and the Mini Moki, which is a smaller version of the Moki. You guys, this is so cute. I love all of these. I don't know which one I'm going to use today. I like these little tiny ones for detail work or color corrector or concealer or things like that. This is the Silly Dip. This is super soft and flawless finish and it absorbs less makeup and germs. It's silicone infused technology. It's this really interesting texture on the top, which I don't know. I like that. All of these are so freaking cool. I love the microfiber ones. I think I'm going to go with the OG today, which is this black one. I'm going to get it wet in just a second. But I also did pick up a brush set. This is the AOA PM Essential Brush Set. So this brush set is a 12-piece brush set, and this costs $10. So this is one of the more expensive items. But 12 brushes, and I'm going to try to stick to using only these brushes today so we can really get a good feel for them. And then I'm going to use this beauty blender. So let me go wet this, and we'll get started with the makeup. Okay, I did go ahead and get this wet. My hand is still all wet, but it did get up to a good size and it's nice and squishy. I like it. So let's go ahead and take a look to see what I have here. I'm going to clip my hair back so that it's not in my face during the makeup application. Okay, and then I zoomed you guys in a little bit. I'm hoping you're close enough. We're gonna start with the primer. I picked up this duo. The This is the AOA uh, Charity Edition Primer Spray and Setting Spray. These retail for $1.88 a piece, but then I think if you bought both of them together, it was like $3.50 or something, a really good price. And I just talked about in my primer video how much I like spray primers. Just a pre-makeup application application spray. I already did all of my skincare and everything. I don't love the sprayer, but um, okay, I can deal with it. It feels really nice on the skin though, and it does have a nice scent to it. Um, for foundation, I ended up picking up the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. I was honestly really surprised with how many different options they had uh, as far as makeup goes. It's like the sheer amount of blushes and things like that. So this foundation, I got this in the shade, I cannot find the shade name, so I'll pop the shade name up right here. Uh, but I was really surprised just by the sheer amount of different types of products that they had. Like the different amounts of blushes and things like that, it was a good amount. And there was lots of different things to choose from, lots of different formats, lots of different types of products. And I really, I was impressed because I didn't expect there to be that much. And this is a brand, like I said, I've heard about a lot um, solely because the makeup from what I've heard is pretty good, but also because of their Beauty Blender dupe, how affordable that is. I know a lot of people, like this is their favorite and this is just kind of the Beauty Blender that they use now. And I can get on board with that because it is super affordable. And we all know that I have like this really weird obsession with collecting Beauty Blenders. So obviously um, I try to get them when I can find them at good prices. But if I could just have like a good steady backup that I could just purchase without having to like deal hunt for it, that would be even better, like way better. So hopefully that'll be what ends up happening. This is definitely what I would describe as like a your skin but better foundation. And it does seem to be pretty buildable without looking like cakey, which is nice. I like that so far, honestly. 
I like that a lot more than I was expecting to because foundations are something that's very difficult to get like correct and I think that that looks really good on the skin it's a pretty good shade match for me too so I feel like that's pretty good um, I don't love the dropper type applicator but I can just very easily apply that to the little beauty blender and that works out well and for a dollar 88 like what a steal so so far with this so good and um, then we have the AOA studio liquid concealer this is in the shade porcelain it's a cute little pink tube it's very interesting to me that it is in a tube so I'm going to kind of put that where I normally put concealer and then we're gonna blend it out I'm going to use the little beauty sponge again to blend it out and I am doing obviously face before eyeshadow today I don't know why don't ask me why I'm probably gonna end up regretting that but that's what we're doing what I actually really like this too like it looks so natural but so like my skin but better I'm really impressed with this so far um, I ended up I was just kind of searching through the website and instead of a like powder contour, I ended up going with the AOA Studio Sculpt Fix Contour Stick. This is in the shade Nutmeg. This is what I had the most difficult time like picking out a shade for this because I feel like the shade that I originally wanted was out of stock. Um, so I ended up grabbing this shade, which hopefully it's a little dark, but hopefully it'll work. I have this bump in my nose and it always makes me like mess up my nose contour and I hate it. Again, I'm just gonna use the beauty sponge and I'm gonna kinda blend this in a little bit. Oh my god, I don't know if it's the sponge or if it's the products, but everything just blends in so easily. Okay, so I actually kind of like that contour stick, but I almost want a little bit more like definition. You guys know me, like I am a huge proponent of high-end makeup because I feel like so much of the time the quality is just so much better than drugstore makeup and like there are good drugstore products out there but genuinely like so much of the time I feel like I just spend the same amount of money finding a drugstore product that I like almost as much as a high-end product that it just kind of makes more sense to get high-end products but this stuff is good. Like, this is good. For powder, I ended up going with just a translucent powder because I felt like that kind of made the most sense. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Pressed Powder in Translucent. So it is just the kind of stark white translucent powder. And then I'm going to use the AOA Studio, the F12 brush from that set. This is like, it's very fluffy and it's not super dense. And I'm just going to buff some translucent powder on because I want to make sure that that foundation and concealer and everything sets. Oh my god, this brush is so soft though. What? Do you ever have those moments where like you finally try something and then you're just kind of kicking yourself for not having tried it before? Because I've always heard about these products and I've always heard really good things and I feel like I could have had this all along and I didn't. Um, okay, this is pretty good. I mean, it's a translucent powder. It's nothing like super impressive or special or anything, but it still doesn't, my skin does not look cakey at all, which I freaking love. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, let's talk about some blush and highlight. I ended up going with this line. This is the AOA Studio. I got the Lumi Radiant Blush in Ravish, which is kind of like a baked blush. Oh, look at that. So freaking pretty. And then I also got the Halo Highlighter in Allure, which so pretty oh my god so I'm going to put these on again I have a pretty pretty brush here this is the AOA studio f14 again these are like oversized but very fluffy I'm gonna use this for the blush oh, look at that beautiful shade oh my god I'm gonna take the powder brush a little bit and buff it out a little bit more oh my god I love this so much genuinely this is stunning. And then I'm gonna take the AOA Studio F17, which is a nice fan brush, and I'm gonna use that in the um, highlight. Fan brushes tend to be very light when they pick up highlight. So let's see how good this one is. And this is also a baked highlight, and I'm using it dry. So I'm expecting very, very light. It is very light, but you still get that glow. And it's almost more of like a more natural glow. Oh my God, I love this. Look at that. Oh, but it builds up so pretty. 
I quite like this fan brush too, actually. This is pretty nice. It's very fluffy and it's very big, so it's very easy to do like just the sweeping motion, right? And I feel like a lot of fan brushes just don't quite have that oomph power, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm loving the face so far. Honestly, I think it looks really good. Um, I'm super impressed. We're going to move on to eyes. So I have the AOA Studio Slim Brow. This is in the shade Ebony. I did all of my shade matching online, so we'll have to see how right I was. But I'm going to do my brows really quick. And natural brows, same as always. Honestly, this brow pencil reminds me of the Hourglass one that I'm using in my Shot My Stash right now. And obviously the Hourglass one is like $28 and this one's like a dollar. So um, I quite like that. I might come back to this. Like this is nice. I feel like it's good for just my everyday natural brows, but I feel like it could also be good for other things as well. Um, then I have the AOA Studio Perfect Eyeshadow Primer. It's kind of, ooh, it's kind of like a drier formula. I expect it, it reminds me of like a concealer, right? Like the packaging and everything. So I think I kind of expected it to be like thicker like that. And it is thicker, but it's a drier formula. So it's not as I don't even know how to like really describe that. It's not exactly what I was expecting, but I like it. And again, it blends in so nicely. Oh my God. And it actually covers, like it's got some decent coverage for just like the discoloration on my eyelids, you guys. Okay, so for eyeshadow, they had some singles, they had some pigments, they had a, a big variety on the website. I ended up going with the Foxy palette, and this was kind of cool because it came packaged with just like the palette itself, and then all of the shades that came in the palette were like, are basically singles, so you can kind of put them in however you want them, and I love that. And then if you end up using up all the eyeshadows, the palette itself is reusable, which I think is fantastic. And so I ended up picking the Foxy palette. This palette was also $10, which is a pretty decent price for a palette of this type. There is a good mirror on it as well, and I'm excited. So we're going to make some type of look with this. What type of look? I have no idea, but I've got a bunch of new eyeshadow brushes, and we're going to give it a try. We're gonna, we're gonna make something happen here. This is the AOA Studio F19 brush. If I had to guess, this is probably meant for like concealer or something like that, but this is the only like fluffier kind of blending brush that I have here. It's the closest that I can find to one. So I'm going to end up using this and I think I'm going to start with this terracotta shade right here and I'm going to kind of just get that on this big ass brush and just put it all over, all over the lid, all over the crease. We're going to get that everywhere. Since I don't have like a smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead and take this. This is the Luxie 231, the small tapered blending. And I'm going to go into, I think I'm gonna go into this rich shade right here and I'm gonna kind of put that on the outer corner and blend it upwards into the crease. I'm gonna take that big uh, AOA Studio F19 brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is Adorbs. And I'm gonna kind of just go over where the terracotta shade was and just kind of blend. I just want this big orange, orangish, pinkish, burnt color like all over, if that wasn't obvious. Um, I'm trying to debate if I wanna do like a cut crease or if I just want to do a lid. Oh, this is the difficult part, isn't it? This beautiful gold shade right here, which is Crown, which I have been dying to use. So I'm going to use the AOA Studio E121 brush. Ooh, I don't know if that's going to be better on my finger or what. I'm going to use some of the primer spray to wet the brush because I feel like it's going to pick up the pigment a little bit better. Do you see how gorgeous this is? shade is oh my goodness I'm in love I'm in love okay I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye I'm not doing a cut crease I'm just kind of carving out the lid a little bit with my brush but then kind of like still blending it in so it's just not as sharp as a cut crease it's a little bit more blended than that and it doesn't go up as high either but I still want the focus to like be this gold because it's beautiful I love this I'm gonna take a quick break um, from the eyeshadow I'm gonna do the AOA studio gel eyeliner I don't know what the shade this is but it's just a black shade 
I'm gonna use this to line my waterline with, and then I'm gonna go back in and do the rest of my eyeshadow. God, this just glides so easily. I'm also gonna use the AOA Studio Artista eyeliner pen in black. This is a liquid liner. I'm gonna use this to line my upper lash line, and then I'm going to finish up, and then I'm gonna finish up my eyeshadow. All right, so this one, you're gonna have to give me a second, because y'all know I cannot do this on camera. I don't know why, I don't know why, I don't know, but give me a second. Okay, that eyeliner went on so just glided, glid. It glid like butter. Is glid a word? Is it glided? I am seriously so obsessed with this. Um, I'm going to go back to the palette now. I'm gonna use the AOA Studio E124 brush. And I think I'm going to go into the brown shade again, this one right here. And I'm going to put that under this half of my lower lash line and kind of just blend that out. And then I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is Starlet. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner and bring it down just a little bit to my lower lash line. I'm going to do a little bit of that under my brow bone as well. Honestly, you guys, I am so impressed. These eyeshadows blend out so nicely. I love this gold. It's a good basic look. I like it. It's it's a good one. Um, so now we are going to do some mascara and then I'm going to do setting spray and lips. For mascara, I picked up the AOA Studio. This is the Wisp Enhancing Mascara. It's naturally color-coded lashes. So this is in the black shade. It comes in one of these tubes, which I feel like this is becoming more and more popular. But let's see here. I didn't curl my lashes or anything. Like I literally just went in with the wand. Definitely some length there. It almost feels like a drier formula, but it's nice. It's giving me some good length pretty pronounced. It's not my favorite mascara ever, but I like it. I would use this and I'd be happy about it, you know? Um, now for lips, I don't have a lip liner or a lip primer, so I will probably end up using one of my own just because these are some darker lip shades and y'all know if you're going to use a darker lip shade, you have to use something on your lips, otherwise it feathers like crazy, especially on me. I don't know why, my lips hate me. But I could not help myself, I ended up picking out two lip shades. This is Sangria. These are both like, oh, look at that. They're both super bright, super dark. And then this one is Palm. Palm did get a little squished on the lid there, that's my bad, but this is like just a true blue-red. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I think I'm going to go with Palm, actually. I am going to line my lips. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Bite Beauty, that Line and Define Lip Primer um, that I had from my last Shop My Stash that I have not put away yet. In this, like, PM brush set, it came with the AOA Studio F18, which is a little lip brush, and I'm going to use that just to get a good line since this is such a true like classic red you know since the tip of it did get smushed a little bit this will just give me more of an even line help me stay within my lip line a little bit easier I have a naturally uneven lip line and it drives me crazy does anybody else have that because it's like no matter what I do it's always a little bit uneven I like this shade though I do um, and it goes on really nicely like it blends really well it's easy to fix any mistakes that you make, unless I have more mistakes and then it's not. Beyond like my naturally not even lip line, I feel like that looks good. Okay, last but not least, we have the setting spray. This is supposed to lock in makeup. I will say, I think that overall, I like the nozzle and the scent of the setting spray more so than the primer spray, but I like them both. They're both really good and you get two and a half fluid ounces for $1.88, which is phenomenal. Okay, so this is the finished look. Honestly, I really like it. I'm super impressed with the makeup. I cannot wait to try out different looks with this. There's a shade in the Foxy palette. This one right here. Oh my goodness. It's like this beautiful neonish fluorescent yellow. Look at that. It's like a highlighter. I see so many looks envisioned with that in my future, seriously. But all in all, I think this was a really good experience. I was a little hesitant because you guys know I normally prefer the higher end makeup like I was talking about in the video because I feel like the quality is there. But honestly, quality for this stuff has me blown away, especially this beauty blender blends everything like magic. But even the products themselves, they all blend so easily. 
I really like. I really like how it turned out. Really do. So fantastic. So if you guys ever tried anything from Shop Miss A, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys have thought. If you have any product recommendations, things that I should try out um, now that I've you know, kind of dipped my toe into the brand. Also, let me know that down below. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the bigger subscribe button if you'd like to see more of me. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.